That's it. We are done. It's time for summer break. Hello everyone, Chris here, and yes, we are at the end of what we are calling Season 4 here at Chris's Basement. We did manage to get a video out every week, and we got a lot of stuff accomplished that I'm feeling pretty good about. Now, we do usually take a break around this time every year for a couple of weeks, and if you follow me on Patreon, you know that I've been trying to remodel different parts of the basement while still creating the content. And there's no better time than to finish the rest of the remodel while we're on this break. But let's end this season with a tour of the basement. I'll show you what I've gotten done so far and where we're going to go with the rest of the remodel. So let's head over and take a look around. So we're just going to start here. This is where you leave the area where we actually record the videos. You're coming out of here. And let's just flip around. Here's the filament cart. We'll talk about that in a second. Let's flip around to this side, washer and dryer. Yes, it is an actual basement. People ask me that all the time. But here's where you come down the infamous dangerous stairs where you could fall down. Now, we did one of these tours in June 2019. I'll leave a link in the description. You can compare it with how it looks now. But I've moved a lot of stuff around, cleaned a lot of stuff up. Again, we still need a lot of work. But I kind of have some shelves over here where stuff comes in. When it comes into the basement and I need to work on it, I park it there so I don't lose it, which has been a problem. We have some storage shelves over here. That's all going to go away. We'll talk more about that in a second. And we'll spin around. And here's the original printer shelf. Now, the biggest add-on to the basement here was this flooring. This is called dry lock flooring, dry core, something like that. But it has plastic sheets on the bottom. We do get water in the basement on occasion, and that really does ruin my day. So this is going to prevent that, and I'm going to put more of it on the other side. But here's the current printer shelf. This is the one I've had forever. I did move a lot of my sorting to the end of that. I built some shelves for other boxes trying to get as organized as possible, but it's pretty much full. These are all the Cartesian machines, basically, the bed slingers, the ones that will fit on this shelf. Uh, I got my line of Prusas down there. I keep Prusas on the bottom because they usually just work. I don't have to work on them much, and that's not my favorite location to work in. I do have miscellaneous boxes still sitting around of old printers, parts, and printed parts that I still need a home for, but, you know, I'm working on it. Then the studio area, I had this over in the other corner for a long time, but I've got my stereo. I did get rid of a lot of my drum sets, amps, things like that, that I had down here for a long time. And a big shout out to Joe Mike Terranella. He is also a YouTuber. He took a lot of that stuff off my hands and sold it for me, so I didn't have to put in all the work. That was huge, and I really appreciate that, Joe Mike. Here's my main work area. Um, I've got my pulse set up now where I've changed a lot of things on it and customized it, but it's got an Omnia drop on it and I'm actually using it to make more Omnia drops so that I can mount them on other printers because I really like those extruders. Uh, down here underneath is more filament storage, stuff that I couldn't find any other place to put it. You probably know how that goes. Uh, more storage, SK Go. I do use printers over here as well. Uh, I've got the SK Go, a couple of other things. Some stuff that I've been testing for high temp, uh, one of the print dries is here, more stuff that needs to go out. I have way too many guitar cases. This is Benchy Rose still up here. It hasn't changed. It's been the same. Racks for guitar cases. I do have a brand new toolbox, which I'm really excited about. Uh, we'll take a look at that in a second, but I do have lack enclosures. The Mark II is still here. I've got a little cart for my Delta. Uh, we're going to do some Delta projects next season. Uh, maybe involving some speed. Uh, there, uh, there's going to be some interesting things with benchies on that one. Stay tuned. Uh, the Ender 3 lack enclosure, and yes, my toolbox, is pretty much just all assorted tools. I do plan on putting this in the studio area after I'm done, but the main thing that you really want to see is this drawer. Everybody should have a printer main board drawer in their toolbox, right? I uh, probably should get rid of some of those someday. So this has really helped out. And then over in this area, I do have my FT6. It has a printer on it at the moment, but that's just because I'm working on my enclosure. I have been using the FT6. It's been working out after I did some upgrades. This is the large printer shelf. I've got the 2020 cube, a couple of different Cartesian machines. I did get the Snappy back out. I do still plan on doing something with that Snappy. So we'll see what happens. 
my printed solid enclosure, some storage down below. I'm currently working on a, a video for automating an enclosure like this, heat and lights and all things that I can manage to put on there. So that's gonna be a good one. And then the cart over here, I got more cases down below, but this is pretty much designated for my rail core and my tool changer. And I do have tool changer stuff coming up as well. Lots of upgrades for that that I haven't had time to get to. And then coming back into the studio area, I still do have tons of boxes on hands for printers going in and out. So storing those has always been an issue. Again, my filament carts, I just whipped together a really quick cart on casters so that I could get the filament out of the way. My wife did organize the whole thing for me. That was much appreciated because now I can actually find something once in a while. And then back into the studio area, it really hasn't changed any at all this season. But we are going to rework some things this summer. I would like to push everything. I want to get rid of all this storage and then push the table towards the wall. I'd like to do something on the wall, some sort of treatment. We'll see what I can figure out. But I would like to have my toolbox over here instead of all this mess that you see in every video. Make it just a little bit less chaotic. So that is the goal. And just a look behind the scenes. Again, it hasn't changed much since last time. So I got the TV and the lights set up but it's gonna look a little different when we come back after summer break. And I can't end the video, of course, without showing you my old man keyboard because I can't see the keys anymore in all of this light. It really has helped. I do enjoy the light up keyboards, but hey, you gotta do what you gotta do. So there's just a quick look around and we have done a lot of work down here already, but there's a lot more to go and I am pretty excited to show you all of those changes. And just because I'm on summer break doesn't mean you won't see me. I have a lot of live streams I want to get to. I have a Chameleon V2 build, a Voron V0 build, and a Moldex IDEX printer that I want to get to. I'm pretty excited about some of those projects. So stay tuned for that. Now, I hope everyone has a great summer. That is it for today, and I'll see you in just a few short weeks.